Hey folks, Positive Paul, and it is Monday, August 24th, 2020, and we'll just uh, put together an all-over-the-map video. Well, my buddy Brian, too, he, he, he showed up on one of my videos finally, and very interesting. It was a video that I didn't, didn't even mention him in, and he had some nice things to say, but again, uh, look... If you people don't understand that this phony TI community is full of these creepy chameleon Canaanite Draco hybrid hacks, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna get stuck, and it's not gonna be pretty, folks. And it's right around the corner, and you know what I'm talking about. Now, three finger Louie here. All right. Oh, 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 my ears, my ears, my heart, my heart. You know, where, where is he now? Where is this guy, huh? He's he's still globetrotting around doing his one-trick pony show dodging the uh, R&M supercomputer that's up everybody's rear end. So, I, I see this comment, and here it is. Now, this might not be the Brian 2, because the, mo the avatar is not the same. But clearly, we know Brian 2's shtick. You need to start listening to Christian content immediately because you're going straight to hell. Well there, uh, buddy boy. Yeah, my future was mapped out from day one. And yes, it's been a rough ride. But I do know where I'm going to end up at. Now, you creepy chameleon Canaanites, that whole camp, you know your, your days are numbered. So... You know, what I would tell you is pay attention because I'm going to teach you scripture here. All right. Now, again, this one trick pony, he he knows that I totally out at Robert Duncan, baby Chewbacca here who they, they need to, to get him to a barber shop quick. All right. Isn't all these whistleblowers what they whistleblow and then they go in their little cushy homes and they grow beards. And, you know, it's just like, you know, what's going on, man? Like they turn into Rumpelstiltskin. And while this guy's shape-shifting off the charts, Brian, too, has the nerve to put the video back up on his channel. And it's amazing that, that people actually watch this. He has over 5,000 subscribers, 34 f thumbs up. They don't understand that this uh, CIA hybrid hack, Duncan, is nothing but a mouthpiece, all right? And this Ramallah D, okay, she, if, we got to get real, folks. When you see one brown eye and you see that blue eye with the slit, you know what you're dealing with. Now, do I make myself clear? Now, I know I'm rough on everybody. I got it. But see, the wonderful thing about being alienated, folks, is... I can speak the truth. The wonderful thing about actually probably being one of the last known MK Ultra survivors in my age group that I know the truth and it was revealed to me through the Holy Spirit, not by some some alien uh, group. The Orion Council didn't come down and counsel me, I can tell you that. But what we'll do is today, I always wonder, Brian, you know, Brian says, yeah, yeah, listen to Christian content to dampen the supercomputer, this and that. But, you know, Brian, he, he can't even come up with one anomaly video in almost his seven years on YouTube. All right. Now, clearly, these alien insectoids that are buzzing around me and these perp planes they're always hanging out together. You would think that if Brian, too, is this big whistleblower, all right, that that these these uh, creepy chameleon Canaanites might be hanging around him, too. But I don't see that. So very interesting, folks, as the other day I'm taking one of my shortcuts home and the the police out of nowhere literally come zipping out 
of this side road right here, right in front of me. And there was one of the stalker guys because he was trying, he was fumbling with his earpiece. Now, again, folks, look, I can do this targeting nonsense all day long, you know? I do from time to time document, but here's an example, though, that my targeting is not your targeting, folks. Now, I'm driving down the street, and all of a sudden, boom, there they are. Lights on, all right? And then they, they zip off. But lo and behold, I stick the phone out the window, and look what's there. Now, I wonder what that is. Now, just so you do understand, folks, that that's not a reflection. I stuck the phone specifically out the window to make sure I got a clear shot. And interestingly enough, you can still see two more would appear to be electric, electric mag, uh, electromagnetic anomalies with the electromagnetic fields around them in blue. Now, what, what is it? Is it something that is a, a, a plus for me? They're helping me? Or are they hurting me? Or are they these Palladians that are hanging around me? Well, folks, we're, you know, it's the whole alien conundrum, right? And I've always been wondering, is there a quick way to try to get someone up to speed, explain to somebody the whole alien conundrum? Like, is there a short, condensed, concise summary? And the, you know what? The answer is, uh, you can't. It's impossible. But what you do is you start in modern terms, folks, when we can't leave the Germans out. And of course, when people hear the word Germans, they automatically think Nazis. And yes, that's where you got to begin. But furthermore, we know the Nazis had to know a little bit about something concerning scripture and their involvement in the occult sciences, their involvement with these diviners, these diviners, these familiar spirits, these necromancers, these wizards, these witches, and clearly... We know their interest took them to the Giza pyramids. It took them to the Himalayas where they were, were probably showing up all, you know, nice offering gifts to all these yogis and monks. And they're all probably looking at these Nazis like, what the f get the fuck out of here, man. You know, as they try to extract all their wisdom that they could, you know, derive from these, these good, good people. But again, folks, who are you going to count on? Are you going to count on our Heavenly Father and His Son? Or are you going to count on these Palladians that are zipping around causing trouble? So what I want to do is... We're going to teach Brian a thing or two. Now, we know about these foolish Freemasons. We do know that the Blue Lodge boys are well-intentioned, good people. They don't quite understand what's going on at the top. But they, have, uh, they, they hold Solomon's temple in high regard, and as, as well they should, as we all should. Now, I did a video on this a while back, and no one watched it. It's just amazing. It's probably because YouTube has something to do with that. But I went over the fact how this gentleman, John Wesley Kelchner, had spent years with the crew recreating Solomon's Temple. And here's one of the, um, the, the plates of a rendering of the temple. Now this, this um, information was, you know, taken, taken from scripture and any other source. That, that they could get their hands on, which I'm sure, you know, these Freemasons have access to this information. But what's interesting is we know about Solomon. He took, let's, let's just go over this. 
what did he do? He took three Grandmaster Masons. See, I was trying to work my memory there, folks. And I had a brain fart. He took three Grandmaster Masons, 3,300 Master Masons, 80,000 fellow Craft Masons, and 70 entered apprentice, apprentice Masons were employed. Now, these were the builders of King Solomon's Temple. Now, here you see Hiram of a beef. Hiram of Tyre, and then there's King Solomon. Now, I do, I do find it uh, quite. I guess it makes me feel good that the the Freemasons can at least somehow, with their Bible that I have right here, I'm showing you, can give honor to King Solomon. But what they don't tell you is that we all know. King Solomon had his demons and he knew how to control them. In particular, these 72 demons that uh, apparently Solomon, he, after he was done using them, he was able to get them all locked up in a barrel and thrown into a lake somewhere in Babylon. Now, whether that there's any truth to that, I find it odd, again, with the uh, Grateful Dead song, United States Blues, where it says, Check my pulse, it doesn't change, stays 72, come shine a rain. So, again, look, I'm not getting into all the dirty details, but these Freemasons hold Solomon's temple in high regard. Now, they know... They know in Deuteronomy chapter 18, down here, there shall not be found among anyone that maketh his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer. A consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Now folks, what do you think these creepy chameleon Canaanites do all day long? Come on, folks. And just so you know, in Deuteronomy chapter 18 is where Christ is promised, the prophet is promised. They will raise them up a prophet among their brethren. When actually, we, we know that he came from the tribe of Judah. But look, this applies to everybody in a modern sense. So, you, you know, when you talk about the r and supercomputer, all this wonderful technology that, what, men sat and labored in lavatories for years to come up with all this? Well, yeah, yes, they did, but... To get them going, all right, on the right path, this knowledge came from somewhere else, all right? It wasn't just an act of imagination. But as we do know, in Deuteronomy, this is our guide that tells us, as a modern-day Christian, what we're up against. Now, this is the summary now, they start off with this all the way back in Exodus, telling the Israelites, look, stay away, stay away. And what we do, though, is we know these winged angels, all right? Everybody loves the Anunnaki. And while, yes, the Anunnaki may might have something to do with Sumer. Yes, the cuneiform tablets. And here, folks, I'm going to let you, let you in on a little, uh, clue you in on something. I've got this handy-dandy H4 Zoom recorder. It's a mobile uh, recorder mixer. Old school. Uh, well, I first commissioned it back in 2008 at a police concert at Madison Square Garden and the sounds amazing but once I had my first laptop fried 
And then I had another one hacked into. And then the iPad mysteriously died. I learned my lesson. And I've been listening to all these gatekeepers now for at least 10 years. And what I did though, is once I figured out that I can't do this online, I started taping all of them. I've listened, I've got everything that Bielik, Nichols, and Swerdlow has ever said. And I've listened to them all. Mars, Cooper, Sitchin, the stuff I like. I put on these little SD cards and then that way I can sit with the, the Zoom and listen and not have issues on online. So I know what's been said. Now, can you grow and, and, and change your opinion about something? Yes, you can grow and change your mind. That's what happens when you do, do research. But remember, the, the research has to ha come from a good source. If you're getting served up phony baloney, and it, look, they're all good campfire stories, folks, all right? But what did Solomon know with these winged angels? Look at Mr. Kelchner and, and his, his, you know, amazing group of men that did this. Look, the lions at the bottom, the, the winged uh, creatures right here. Could, could they be? The Anunnaki. Well, look, it's nice to know this ancient history, folks, but right now it's not going to amount to a hill of beans no more because we're coming into the, 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 the end, end game here. I mean, it, it's, it's it. I know everybody thinks that, hey, you know, Trump, what, he's going to make America, America great again? We, we got we to gotta somehow change our way of thinking. So what we do is we go to Scripture, folks. And this is where, this is where people like uh, Mr. Two fail. Now, these creepy chameleon Canaanites. All right. Now, let's let's show that. I'm going to show you this first. Okay. Let's see if everybody can see that. Hopefully, you can. Let's see. Get right up on it. All right. So. Cain's uh, genealogy, where you see that uh, Jabal was the father of such as dwell in tents and such as have cattle. And then his brother, Jubal, he was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Hey, what do you think? He was the original Pied Piper. But here we come to Tublacane, an instructor of every artist fur and brass and iron. Now, the point to that is, folks, we know these creepy chameleon Canaanites control the economy. These so-called Illuminati Shmuminati jokers. All right. And these, you know, Masonic secrets as it relates to such things as instructors and in, in every artist of fur uh, across the board that. That these, in, in a modern sense, these are the people that succeed in this world. Now, from day one, there's been a fascination with the sons of God that they have with humans. A fascination that the sons of God had with humans. And that caused their fall with the head joker, Satan. So, look, they, they want to... Who knows what, what, what these characters were thinking back then? Because you got to remember, folks, we, we, we say these aliens are, oh, highly evolved, interdimensional, um, you know, of, of, of great intellect, so much more than a human. Okay, well, what were they thinking? They were looking at these humans and they're like, man, we want to we wanna actually be that, do that. Now, I don't know if that makes sense or if that's a simple explanation, but here, here's, here's what the point is. Now, the Lord said, my spirit's not going to always strive with man for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. Now, we all know what that means concerning Jubilees, but more important, this is the one verse we got to wrap our minds around. There were giants in the earth in those days, 
And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they have they bear children to them. Now the important part is, and also after that. Now we we come to believe that, and also after that, is right now, folks. It's right now. This is what the hybrid breeding program after World War II was. This is what the Nazis were working on. But it, it goes it goes more deeper than that. This is what the satanic ritual abuse is all about. It's it's the destruction of, of God's children. That's why with the, the pedophilia and, and all the disgusting sexual depravity that's out there with these, uh, you know, creepy chameleon Hollywood highbred hacks. All right. With all their, their filth that they're, they're projecting on the children. So, look, these Canaanites know that's why the en en enmity was put into place. So when they got around each other, they knew that they were different and to stay away. And that's why Cain was cut off. Now, no one wants to hear this or understand this. If you're some shape-shifting uh, uh, reptoid, then chances are you've got no salvation. You had this world and that's it. And it's bye-bye for you. So when you're mocking us, God's children, you're mocking the, it, the people of color, the ancient Israelites, and whoever else is in that group, when you're mocking the descendants of Ashkenaz, the real Ashkenaz bloodline, not the fake Jews that hijacked it, and they find those people, and that's the people that get put through MK Ultra, satanic ritual abuse, because they have spiritual protection they have a connection to the creator these creepy chameleon canaanites don't have that and then you know that they're not going to tell you that in the jehovah witnesses they're not going to tell you that in church with the catholics i'm totally rejected down here in rosarito as i try to witness to these beautiful people and they think it's a big joke as these creeps these hybrid hacks run around and slander me and they try to do their best to turn you know, whoever they can, whoever's helping me or, or hanging around me, they do their best to infiltrate and then, you know, completely cut me off from anybody that might help me. So here, here, here's the point, folks. We're saying aliens are responsible for all this, but yet, here, this scripture, and I'm showing you, here, here's what we'll do. Look, Brian too can't do this either. I, I I was laughing because the other day when I got woken up in the middle of the night, all right, I got woken up in the middle of the night, and uh, it, it's just crazy, right, folks. Pause it, Paul. Okay, there's the moon with Venus. I'm just going to fast forward this and I'm going to show you something. And most, some of you that pick up on this, you saw it already. But watch this. Right there went two Palladians. Now watch this. Hang on, guys. I'm going to get this dialed in so we can check this out. Right. There. Oh. Hang on. Ah, I can't get it. I'm trying to line it up. Right there. I got it. All right. Now, disregard the, the blue mark right here because that's where my iPad got, got, I don't know, smashed or something. But, okay. This is just the other week. You can see, let's try to get right up on it because you can see the distinct features of, of two, two faces, all right? Up top and then down, down low, all right? I know you can see that. So, Palladians, Orion Council of Light. The Syrians, the B, the B Syrians, the Reptilians. Are they just fallen angels, folks? Well, that's a very, very uh, 
difficult question. And I tell you what, we'll just end this one here and we'll pick up with part two later.